Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Welcome back to my channel again. Nice to see you again today. Uh, today I have a, another tip for someone using the Android op operating system on your cell phone. And uh, one thing I found is that the, the new gallery app for viewing your photos that you take on your phone provided by Google, which is integrated into Google Plus, unfortunately, if you don't want to use Google Plus, you cannot use the Google Gallery. Uh, but if you are using the Google Gallery, you may notice that there's one important feature that is missing. That is the ability to rotate a photo from the photo listing page. It forces you to open up the photo in the editor, then select rotate, then save. And instead of saving as the original photo, it saves as a new photo. So then you have to delete the, un the incorrect rotation photo and then you have your rotated one. So to me, that used to be a, a workflow that would take one step, just select the photo and select rotate right. Now it becomes like a 10 step process, which is totally crazy because the biggest problem I find with photos is that the orientation that the photo is, is not matching the orientation of the, uh, the image. So to be able to rotate a photo quickly is something that Microsoft has had in their Windows operating system for since the Windows, I think seven came along and uh, the old Android OS had the ability in their old gallery app to do this. For some reason, they took it out of the Google Plus gallery app. So the solution is, I have found a, a solution. I installed a third-party gallery application called QuickPick. It's quick and then all one word, P-I-C. And this is a really great gallery application that has really lots of reviews and great reviews. I just installed it. It doesn't ha seem to have any ads and it like the feature I wanted, you can just select a photo, go to the menu and select rotate and select rotate right or rotate left and it will do it right away in the gallery and it replaces the photo in the gallery with the one with the correct rotation. So I'm now actually going to be using Quick Pick for most of my photo management needs instead of the Google Plus uh, gallery application. However, the Google Plus gallery application does have an automatic photo backup feature that backs up your photos to the uh, Google Google Picasa web galleries and if you select the uh, size feature it actually will have unlimited uploads and doesn't take up any space on your Google Drive so that is if you go in and change the setting to use uh, reduced size photos it will un upload unlimited photos without causing you any uh, cost of extra storage so that's definitely a very nice feature of the Google Plus gallery and one other thing to note is that I used to uh, for the past day I've been using the new Android Lollipop OS and I found it interesting at first that you could actually put your phone's notifications on the lock screen but I find that I'm unlocking my phone often and those notifications if they show up before I have to enter my my uh, sequence of um, drawing the pattern to unlock my phone the lock screen notifications on the lock screen are actually distracting me from the task that I want to accomplish with my phone at that particular time. I'm usually unlocking my phone to accomplish something such as um, doing a particular task like emailing someone, adding something to my to-do list, starting or stopping my, my, my music from playing. And I find that having that additional information of the notifications shoved in my face before I unlock my phone is distracting and it interrupts my flow of my activity. So I actually went into the settings, go to sound and notifications, and turned off the lock screen notifications feature. It is a very interesting feature and it kind of like fun to play with, but I realized that it doesn't work for the way that I use my phone. It kind of disturbs my flow and uh, how I like to use my phone. So it definitely is, it is interesting to try all these features that Google has been working on for the uh, Android OS 5.0 Lollipop, which I've, I told you about yesterday when I got my phone with that uh, new OS updated. And uh, so I'm going to definitely explore it over the coming days. And if I discover anything else worthy of note, I will post another video explaining uh, the problem and my solution or some interesting ideas about these features that uh, we've been getting. So thanks again for watching. For more videos from me, please click the subscribe button below. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Another thing I should note is that I watched a very good video by Bill Murray. Bill Murray, the very famous uh, actor who was in one of my favorite movies, Lost in Translation. He spoke at the uh, Toronto International Film Festival and said that the one of the major advice that he learned to be successful or be great in his life was that he says he claims that everyone is at their best performance 
when they are at the most relaxed they can be, or when they are completely relaxed. And he says that he tries his hardest to stay relaxed all the time while he's working, and he loves his job as an actor, so that he can perform the best that he can on the job. So I think it's very true. If you have a sense of relaxed control, you can definitely function better than if you're anxious or nervous or tense, because that will definitely get in the way of your uh, performance. So thanks again for watching this vlog. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comment section below. Look forward to talking to you again very soon. Thanks again for patronizing my blog by watching me and subscribing to me here on YouTube. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye for now.